Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I am in Saltaire Village in West Yorkshire and I'm going to show you around Saltaire and talk about Sir Titus Salt who built this amazing village and I'm just sitting in front of the magnificent Victoria Hall. So I'm going to show you around, it's going to be a really interesting video I'm going to put quite a bit of history in it for you and yeah, I think you're going to enjoy this one. Cheers! Saltaire is a Victorian model village near Shipley in West Yorkshire, England. It's situated between the River Eyre, the railway and the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. Salt's mill and the houses were built by industrialist Sir Titus Salt between 1851 and 1871 to allow his workers to live in better conditions than the slums of Bradford. Sir Titus Salt decided that he wanted to bring all his businesses together into one village and leave Bradford and set up his businesses in Saltair village. Cities like Bradford were suffering massively from pollution from all the factories and mills pumping out thick black smoke. Illnesses were rife around Bradford and Sir Titus Salt wanted his workers to have a lot better, cleaner working and living environment and he knew that they would perform much better and efficiently at the mill. Sir Titus Salt decided the best thing to do was to build one huge revolutionary innovative super mill for his workers to work in. The name of the village is a combination of the founder's surname and the name of the river. Highly skilled local architects Francis Lockwood and William Mawson were employed by Sir Titus Salt to build this amazing Saltaire village. In 1849 Francis Lockwood had formed a partnership with William Mawson and the following year they moved to Bradford where they were later joined by Mawson's brother Richard. They went on to design some of the most distinguished buildings in Bradford. The canal was purposely built to be wide because they knew that boats would get bigger over the decades and the centuries and there'd be more traffic coming up and down the canal. Saltaire Village is one of the finest examples of 19th century classical style architecture in the world. The firm of Lockwood and Mawson went on to become one of the most celebrated architect firms in the country. When Salt's Mill was fully completed in 1853, it became the largest industrial building in the world by total floor area. Sir Titus Salt had observed the other textile factories and was disappointed by the working conditions he saw there. At the time, 
mill working conditions were commonly poor, with most workers suffering disease, low wages and labour exploitation. The working day sometimes exceeded 16 hour shifts, which resulted in the workers suffering from exhaustion and there were frequent accidents involving the textile machinery. During the Industrial Revolution, horses could carry a lot more weight faster and cheaper across water rather than land. The canals were much easier access compared to bumpy, uneven roads. Because canals were not tidal and did not have a strong current, the horses were able to pull the barges in either direction with the same amount of effort. So Titus Salt really expanded the village and built churches, schools, gymnasiums, a hospital and his workers were a lot happier and more efficient than they would have been working in the city. During the mid-1800s, almost 50,000 people died after a cholera outbreak. Sir Titus Salt was so concerned with the amount of people dying from illnesses, he decided every house that was built for his workers at Saltair Village would have clean water, sanitation and gas, which was revolutionary for mill workers during that period and only rich and wealthy people normally afforded such luxuries. Industrialist entrepreneur Sir Titus Salt made his fortune through the production of alpaca wool at the peak of production, there were 3,000 workers and 1,200 looms. Up to 18 miles of alpaca yarn was being produced a day, which is around the distance from Saltaire to Skipton. So Titus Salt was so pleased with the work that architects Lockwood and Mawson did that he named a street after both of them, either side of Victoria Hall, in appreciation of their brilliant work. A 
imagine that you know sometimes if you do a good job you might get a bonus or something like that but they actually got the street named after them either side of one of the iconic buildings which they designed so you know it's don't get much better than that really Salt's Mill was built next to the Leeds Liverpool Canal, the River Eyre and also the railway which has excellent links to Bradford, Leeds and towards Skipton. So Titus Salt loved classical Italian style buildings and Lockwood and Marson did an absolutely incredible job with these buildings, they really did, they really are amazing I mean you can just stand and admire them for ages they're just mesmerizing absolutely superb it's an absolutely gorgeous day today in Saltaire and I'm just soaking up the atmosphere and enjoying the sunshine so I hope that you've enjoyed this history video and if it's the first time you've watched my channel and you're into history you'll love my videos that are on the channel there's around a hundred videos so there's a really good back library of videos to watch on the channel and I'm always creating new ones to watch so thanks so much every one of you for watching I really appreciate it and the feedback the comments that you give me it's all absolutely fantastic so thanks everybody take care and don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers everybody, see ya.